must stop. I cannot wait to show you guys what I found. Like, oh. <laughs> up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm feeling a little inspired to go thrifting and try to find some winning pieces i'm looking for some new jeans and possibly a shirt or a jacket like a standout like statement type of jacket so we're gonna have a little bit of fun and see what we can find. Kinda wanna like change it up a little bit. So yeah, either way, we're gonna see what we can find today. And um, I just thought it'd be fun to bring you along. So let's go. So hopefully the audio is good in here. So I was having a little rough morning. I watch Heinz while I'm getting ready and do my makeup. And um, today's most powerful message from the video was basically... Fuck. <laughs> okay, I remembered. I don't know why I blanked on that. But he was talking about how if you're in a family that's like not wealthy and like just a bunch of just being the first to break generational curses that's basically what he was talking about was like just because certain things have happened in your family or you know there's drama in the family there's falling out and the whole thing is just very dysfunctional basically the fact that you could be the first one to kind of start something healthy and um break that type of aspect within the family dynamic and that right there I was just like wow and then he was also talking about how we are powerful beings like obviously a lot of people say that but sometimes you just need a little bit of a reminder but him saying like when certain things happen and how you deal with it or how you step forward with it I was just like I don't know. None of this stuff is probably new to like some of you guys, but sometimes you get stuck in your own head so much where you're like, I don't know. You have to hear it from somebody else's perspective, somebody that's not, you know, inside of the little world that you feel like is chaotic. He's also talking about whenever he was getting paid like $18 an hour that <clears throat> it was in that moment he said one day I'm gonna be worth a thousand dollars an hour like my rate is gonna be super high and you know that's what it, the reality was gonna be and he said at that point in time it seemed so impossible that that is what motivated him to actually just try to go for it because it did seem impossible but it was fun for him to kind of be able to ha have something to like aspire to and work towards to see if it was going to happen or not instead of just dismissing it already like mentally in, in your mind before you're even doing the action to get to where you want to go so I don't know these past few months have been kind of crazy so for me I kind of slacked off on working on my mental health and my like daily routines of like my healthy things and stuff so now I'm like getting back into it and really like working through a bunch of things like for instance I want to do some more creative stuff on this channel and just more creative projects in general i want to collaborate with people and really just get outside of my own little like one person world i feel like although i do have like a very very few handful of people that i genuinely can rely on and trust and go to like when stuff in life happens but i don't know it's just something about knowing that 
other people can't do certain things for you and that you will have to be the one that steps out of your comfort zone in order to get to what you see in your mind so but I don't know I feel like now that it's the beginning of a new year it's a time for like self-reflection and self-growth and actually believing in yourself and in your abilities because like I said um when Heinz stated, you are a powerful being, you will be surprised at what you will be able to achieve if you just do it. So that seems like a way better space to be in. Thanks for joining me along this car ride and this heart to heart, you know. All right, I'll see you guys at the thrift store. <laughs> now I was gonna get Tex Mix, but then I saw Takis. And I don't know why, but I've just been Digging my talkies lately. Bomb ass tight, rap stuck up that pipe, jewelry on me, fast fight. I've been listening last night. Big fans busting out the Bentley van, take it in Valencia. Y'all got ride it back and all these bitches fuck. If it's up, then it's up. <laughs> oh my god. Okay guys, so we just arrived at the Goodwill that we're going to and hopefully they have some good stuff here or some trendy stuff or you know, I don't know. We'll see what we find, but um, yeah, we're about to go in, so let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so I'm looking for jeans. Hopefully they have some good pairs. Shout out to all the pair pairs, pairs now and shit like that. Shout out to all the pair, I eat pairs, pairs now and shit like that. Alright, so I found some jeans. Well, the jean area. I'm gonna look through these and see if I can, if I see any that are cute. And if not, then I'm heading over to the men's section and I'm gonna just kind of look for like some cargo pants or like Wranglers or something, Levi's, I don't know. I'm not really seeing much, to be honest. I'm feeling a little awkward because like I, I don't vlog you guys. I don't vlog. I don't vlog. So yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to feel a little confident in my vlogging abilities. And hopefully the audio is good. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to keep looking and hopefully I find something. If I do, I'm going to check back in with you guys. But I don't know. I'm not really seeing much. These are honestly kind of cute. Like, the bottom have, like, this little frayed area. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Oh, look, they have a Kendall and Kylie. I'm gonna keep looking and uh, check back with you guys in a second. Alright, so I'm walking up and down the aisles. I still don't really see much. I grabbed these black slacks that are kind of wide leg and loose and then I grabbed the jeans that I showed you guys like earlier but um I don't know if I'm gonna walk out with them I just grabbed them to hold on to them just in case but we'll see I'm not really having much luck though and also I feel like this footage is gonna be a mess to go through because I'm not really paying attention because, like I said, I have, like, a little anxiety vlogging in public. But, I mean, even, like, shorts and skirts and stuff. Like, I'm not really seeing a lot of cute stuff. Which I'm kind of sad. So, I might go to another one and see. But, yeah, I don't, I'm not really having much luck right now. So, I was looking through and I just found this skirt. 
It's actually from Zara and it's like this nice silky spiky material. To be honest, I think I might get it just because like it was originally 50 and now it's 9 bucks. I mean it feels nice, so <laughs> okay guys, so I'm at the checkout and I'm spent way too much. So this video is going to be turning into a haul because <laughs> I didn't expect to be buying this much items. Um, the guy just went to go make a tag for one of the bags that I'm getting, so I'm just waiting to swipe my card, you know. I don't care what you said. Thank you. Talk to me the week ago, so I am in love with you. Well, you're doing a great job. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. I also keep this one for the first time. I appreciate it. <laughs> you have a good week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number one. We just got out of the Goodwill guys and I just want to say I didn't find that many clothing options I was digging but I went ham on finding accessories and a couple pants and then I think I found a dress so once I get back home I think I'm gonna sit down and show you guys all the items I went ahead and got Anyway, my battery is gonna die, guys, so I will see you when I'm back home and we'll be using a different camera. You guys, this Goodwill, just honestly, I could not stop yeah, going through the aisles. I could not stop. I cannot wait to show you guys what I found. Like, first of all, here's some snowboard bindings. But I'm saying as for as far as outfits, like, oh, I'm so excited. You guys can't really see me. There you go. Here's some, here's some light. Anyway, we just scored, okay? So it might be tomorrow when I show you guys everything I got, but either way, my entire car is like full of Goodwill bags, I swear. All right guys, so I'm back at home and I am so excited to show you guys what I got from my little haul at Goodwill. Honestly, I had no idea that I was going to be, you know, oh, I like this, oh, I like that, oh, I like this. Like, I haven't had that type of experience in a Goodwill in a long time and like, Honestly, it made me want to stop trying to go thrifting. I've been trying to just, you know, spice up my fashion a little bit, look a little, I don't know, just find some good deals, okay? Period. That's it. Like, I just wanted to find some cute stuff, and um, I was pleasantly surprised. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what I got. I'm like, I'm seeing some of the items, <laughs> and your girl's just 
hype about it, okay? So let's go ahead and get this little haul started. Actually, why did I say little haul? Because it's, it's a big haul, okay? So let's start off with the jeans that I found. I went ahead and copped these gray acid wash looking jeans. Honestly, they're plain and they're high-waisted and I don't know. Like, I feel like you can really just spice these up. My plan for these, I'm going to go ahead and try to find some type of black, like, cross patches. I don't know what company I saw that had these pants with, like, black crosses on them. But I'm going to recreate it, okay? So stay tuned for that video, but... Um, I, I don't know. I feel like I really want to, like, either paint on these. Probably not. But find some patches and really just kind of, like, make this look really cool. And just kind of, I don't know, bring out more of the black contrasting things, you know? What am I talking about? I don't know. They're jeans and they were, like, $9. And I'm excited to customize them. I will figure out leaving a link over here <laughs> i finally got the right corner i will leave a link over here to the jean customization um when that comes out because that'll probably be a few weeks from now okay so this next item i got because i don't know i feel like i want to like start having some street type of fashion so i found these men's adidas pants they're like this navy blue and this contrasting yellow i was like okay let's go ahead and get these but um they're a men's large I probably needed a men's small to like medium to be honest so they're gonna be baggy but they have the string on the inside and they are like the waistband and everything even the tags even the back tag like somebody didn't really even wear these so I'm just over here like okay I will definitely get them um, but overall, this is what they look like. I don't know what type of top I want to wear, but either way, some fire pictures will be coming soon. They also have a zipper on the side, so if you guys have any ideas on how I should spice these up, let me know. But overall, I'm going to say these were a winner. Oh wait, I forgot what the price was. Let me see. And they were $12.99. I forgot to say that. Okay, so the next item I have is this cute little black dress, and it's got these cute sleeves, like, this was super cute. I don't remember what the brand is. Let me see. It's, oh, it's an H&M dress. Okay, so this dress was from H&M, and it's, like, got this silky material, and overall, I mean, it's a cute, simple black dress, like, cute for brunch. Okay, so I kind of want to show you guys in order of, like, which Goodwill I went to. So, sticking to the first Goodwill, we are going to move on to bags. Okay, so I wasn't expecting to get any type of handbags or anything like that because, I don't know, I've never, like, really seen a handbag in Goodwill that's, like, caught my eye. But, let me just say, a lot of these bags that I ended up getting, I was like, okay, I need to plan an outfit, like, to, like, go with this bag. So, this is the first one, and honestly, the way that this feels, feels definitely, like, quality. It doesn't seem like there's any cracks. Like, look at the bottom of this bag. Like... Honestly, the bottom of a purse can really show a lot of, like, the wear. You always put it down places and stuff like that, especially the ridges. But honestly, there's literally no imperfections on this bag. And even the gold little stoppers. The I think the brand of this is called T Tignanello? Tignanello? Tignaneo? Tignanio? <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Wait, let me just put it on the screen. And you tell me how you say that, but I don't know. Tignanolo? <laughs> also, when I was looking for bags, I was making sure the inside was clean. The inside of this literally is just spotless. I'm like, did, 
the person even used it like I have no idea but this bag was $12.49 and like I said it just overall looks so cute and it's not that big or bulky the straps are in great condition and I'm just over here like I mean even with this outfit I mean okay okay so this is the next little purse and honestly it's black it's simple she cute oh Eva. and honestly she was only four dollars and fifty cents and it is forever 21 okay so we already know it's not gonna be like something majorly expensive or anything but I mean just for a black simple bag I think this is just so cute all the hardware the strap everything okay and then I also found this really cute like neon pink Cade Spade like little makeup bag or like coin purse honestly this was $5.50. I feel like it could have been a little cheaper, but I do know that Kate Spade is a good brand. And on the inside, although this bag is simple, <laughs> on the inside it's actually like a snakeskin type of texture. Hopefully you guys can see. I mean, it seems cute. I'm over here like Barbie girl in a real material world. I don't know. But either way. Oh wait, material girl. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Either way, this bag is simple. It was $5.49. And, um, yeah, like I just said, super cute. Inside, cute. The color, cute. Like, now, this purse, I didn't search the brand or anything like that. This is what the bag looks like. I ended up paying, like, $14 for it. And the brand is Morona. I think that's how you say it and that's what the tag looks like the inside of these purses I was just like wow whoever had them didn't use them one bit or they just really took care of their bags because I've like I've said I've seen some nasty purses inside goodwill not gonna lie so this next bag I almost forgot that I got it oh my god it it, it like goes perfectly with this setup okay so this next bag this is what she looks like she has this like chain little handle and then this leather little part on the top of the handle now this bag although she's very cute she is the most like worn like these other three bags right here you can tell they are very like like probably never even used to be honest but you can tell this one has been used just because this part's kind of coming apart but I like how you open this bag you actually squeeze these little things as I'm struggling okay but anyway <laughs> so I really like how you open this bag and not gonna lie whenever I brought it to the register the man that was helping me didn't know how to open it and I didn't realize he was struggling I had no idea how to open it either so you actually squeeze these two buttons right here and then it just comes out and this bag was $7.49. Now the brand is called Limelight. Now I'm not sure like what type of brand this is. I'm not sure where it's carried. But it does have this like little zipper. You can zip this up. Again, the inside. I know that the handle is kind of messed up. But it's like the inside is spotless. So I really love this color. And now looking at how this entire background is it kind of I guess it was calling my name now I decided to get one last bag because the price point I just couldn't resist I couldn't resist so I ended up getting this pink fuzzy bag with this like little flower design and honestly it was 99 cents and I was just thinking of the cute possibilities of having an all pink outfit to be honest and just being all extra I don't know but anyway this is the pink bag and it's all fuzzy and I will proudly wear this around with no shame at all but I did find some really cute hats the first one is this one right here it's almost like this terry cloth like soft gray type of material and I got this for $2.50 and again the inside is spotless like this has never 
even been worn so it all started because I saw this pink bag right then I went over to the hat section and then I found this hat and I was just like okay I have to get them because I wasn't planning on making it a pink outfit but this is where we're at so I <laughs> I grabbed this one and it's actually like embroidered and it says TNT firework this is what the back looks like you got your American flag and again pristine super clean on the inside like it's never even been worn and I also like that the way this hat is built like it's actually almost similar to like a gray t-shirt type of material so yes these are the little hats that I got and I think they're super cute okay so after I went to that first Goodwill I ended up stopping at a second one but my vlog camera was literally on its last breath and <laughs> I decided you know what I'm just gonna go in here I'm just gonna really look around I already spent like $67 at the other one and um, I was just like you know I don't want to go too hardcore but I will tell you this, I found some very, very, very great winning pieces that I am very proud of. Like, I, how many times did I just say very? Like, <laughs> I am just that excited for what I found. Now, the next item that I went ahead and got was this dress. And this dress actually was $7.49. I saw this and I was just like, this is so cute. So this is what it looks like. It has ruffles all down it. And it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not like metallic-y. I don't know. It Hopefully it's picking up great on camera, but it's just like... It almost looks like if you were a mermaid and you're like caught in a net like it's just so cute and then these are what these shoulders look like so I can just picture being on a beach being all sandy going to Tulum a week in Tulum <laughs> so I was excited and it was seven dollars and fifty cents and I'm just like okay now this dress is a medium right now I wear between a medium and a large I gained literally like 15 pounds so this dress is a medium typically I can wear a medium to a large it just really depends but um fingers crossed that this actually fits perfectly because I'm ready to wear it I'm ready to like really be filling myself you know <laughs> Okay, so I also found this other dress, and I'm so excited because it's actually made in Mexico, and the brand is called Golden State. I got it in a size medium, and this dress was actually $6.49, and it is a simple black um, like little tank dress, except for the fact that the material you can feel is actually very, like, very good quality. It's very nice, very thick. And overall, you can't go wrong with a simple black dress. Okay, so this next item I got is actually a Liz Baker blazer. It's a petite. I got it in a size 8 petite. And it is just this crispy, crispy white blazer that honestly when I tried it on I was just like oh my god this fits perfectly so I'm definitely gonna be taking some type of like business executive type of headshots for my website in this and it was only $8.99 and I'm just like wow so honestly I was very very excited about that find the buttons are also like this matte white marbly type of like cream button and obviously on camera you probably won't be able to see and appreciate the detail of it but like overall it is just so clean so nice and it's not a stark white it's actually like a light cream it's kind of a couple shades lighter than actually my jacket but overall I'm just like wow when I found it I was so excited I would just I, I was just so ecstatic. So this item, I actually was so, so excited. Now, this jacket was the most expensive item that I got in this entire haul, but it was for a good reason. I feel like the quality 
and just the way it looks the condition like everything was very very nice now the brand is a press thin in York and I got it in a size 8 that's typically my size and it was $17.99 and overall I feel like it is just so pretty like the color I don't know I've been just really loving these type of tones lately and this softest softest green like oh it's so cute the buttons are nice these buttons are glossy on this one but they still have that like white marbling type of effect on it okay so at the second goodwill you know how we had you know our little pink accessories and I don't know what happened yesterday I just started grabbing pink stuff okay so at the second goodwill <laughs> I ended up finding this pink neon dress okay so you guys will be seeing an all pink shoot like it's got to be inevitable at this point so I ended up grabbing this and let me just check the price it was seven dollars and fifty cents it has these wide shoulder um, straps and also it's got the cutest little tiniest slit right here so I'm just like picturing like early 2000s glam like I don't know and you know to be honest like I just I can just picture something very very cute evolving from that outfit so this is the last item and I was so excited when I found these and these shoes are actually I think the brand is called sunflowers when I first saw them on the shelf I was just like okay these are cute they don't exactly have a square toe but either way like I just felt like they were so so cute and I looked at the bottom and they've literally like never been worn so these shoes were actually handmade in Brazil and when I lifted them up and saw that and then I also saw the bottoms and they weren't even worn I was just like I have to get them I have to so these shoes right here honestly I'm very happy I came across them I think all the little straps and just how cute they look and again for literally less than like nine dollars and they're basically brand new it's kind of like I just ordered this stuff brand new which is really blowing my mind like the shoes haven't been worn these dresses pristine these jackets pristine this white blazer pristine these purses on the inside pristine like hold on like let me just this dress clean pristine no rips this bag never been used this bag for sure has never been used it's really refreshing for once to go thrifting and really find some stuff and really find some stuff that's trendy and cute and like actually you know <laughs> that you'll actually wear and people won't even think it's from the thrift store and like not to be that type of person but a lot of people do get judged on their wardrobe and their appearance and just what brands they wear but honestly I feel like everything that I found in this haul was a winner like so I'm glad that I was able to bring you guys along and go with me and I'm sorry that my vlog camera died halfway but your girl tried okay either way I'm glad I got to show you guys all the pieces that I went ahead and got if you guys want more videos like this then be sure to leave a like on this video comment down below if you go thrifting and what your greatest find has been and that's it for this video guys I'll see you in the next one.